What's up guys? Welcome back to the Mining Stacker YouTube channel where we cover all things crypto and crypto mining. So today's video is going to be about my personal bear market mining strategy. I'm going to let you know what I'm looking at, what I'm doing right now, and go from there. So today's date is October 22nd. So we're about five weeks after the ETH merge and <laughs> nothing is profitable still, right? Everything is in the negative. Um, I think there was a couple of days where, for those of you who had low power, you were able to profit a little bit. But in general, this has been what it's been looking like. Not too hot, right? Even like the bigger coins that people were like relying on, Flux is all the way down here. It's at negative 265. I have the setup for 10.30.60 TIs at the default settings and a 10 set kilowatt hour. Um, but again, nothing is profitable, even if you are down to like eight cents, still not profitable. Um, and it's not looking like it's going to be profitable for a while until we get more price appreciation. This is probably what it's going to look like for a good while. Um, one big thing I've been seeing, especially looking at like the difficulty and the network hash rates. Why are so many of you guys mining at a loss? Like it makes no sense, especially for these bigger projects. Could understand if you're doing some spec mining on something that's like on a test end or something. But for those of you mining things like Flux, Ergo, Ethereum Classic, why are you mining these at a loss? You're, they are not going to need your support. They're big enough or they're going to be fine. I mean, I get that there's people who are, you know, running on solar or they have a cheap like overnight electricity rate. And it makes sense there. But for those of you where that's not the case, do not mine at a loss. It makes zero sense. Just buy the coins. That's a good way to support the project is buy the coins. That way you're continuing to stack. That is the whole purpose of mining is stacking those coins. Um, one big argument I keep seeing over and over as far as why people are mining at a loss. Um, we'll do this example with ERG. Um, so we'll have that, that set up over there. So let's say your monthly earnings, you're going to get about 30 coins, right? Which the current USD value, it's going to be negative $31, right? So the big argument, okay, you know, well, in the bull market, when this thing 10 X is, it's going to be $310. So that's why I'm doing it now, which is a valid argument, right? Makes sense. I see your point of view, but it doesn't make sense when it's still cheaper to buy the coin. If you are buying the coin, you're going to end up with more tokens at the end of the day. That is the goal. You want to end up with as many ERG as possible. You're going to get that by just buying the coin right now until this becomes profitable. Okay, then it's different. Then at that point, you're going to earn more by mining, which is what you can probably jump into. Um, so just keep that in mind. So the argument is valid, though, again, for things where you are true spec mining and not like and a lot of people are saying, oh, I'm going to spec mine Meow coin. If it's already listed on what to mine, you're too late to be spec mining, right? Especially if it's listed on exchange already, you're too late. You're not spec mining at this point. Again, people are like, oh, I'm going to, you know, spec mine this. It's going to go up. Again, it's the same thing. It's going to be cheaper for you to just buy the coins than go that route. Spec mining is when the coin is like still like in a test net phase. It's not listed on exchange. And specifically, it makes sense. Uh, before those things, because right now, especially if it's in a test net, you're typically going to get incentivized by having a bigger share of the coins. There's going to be less people on that network. You're going to typically get incentivized in that in that way in order for you to participate. Right. So like one example, one thing I'm looking at, it's another project called Ironfish. Um, I know some people are probably going to hit me for putting this out there, but nobody's really watching my channel. So it doesn't really matter anyway. But um. This is one project that I'm looking into that I think is going to have a future and it's regarding uh, privacy for Web3 and it's with uh, ZK proofs, right, which are going to be mineable, not only with this coin, but with other coins that are come out that are going to be using that technology. It is going to be mineable. So that is going to be another avenue eventually later on down the pipeline, um, whether or not it's GPU mineable or not. We'll see. I would assume a lot of these are going to start that way, just as this one is and probably go from there. Um, but again, this is one that I'm looking at. And again, this is the only time it's acceptable to really mine at a loss. Because again, at this point, it's 
really true speculation. You're truly speculating on what the price may be potentially in the future, because right now there is no price point. There is no market for it. There's at this point you're participating in that test nest and just and that test net and then just holding those coins. Um, so again, my realistic, my actual plan right now, not GPU mining at all. I'm not going to be mining at a loss, so I'm not going to be doing that. What I am doing, though, I'm still, you know, participating in the networks, and what I am doing is using that money that I would have spent powering those miners, right? So my power bill, that four to five hundred bucks I was using for that, I'm now using that money to DCA into the projects that I would be mining, right? So this is a good way for you to continue to stack coins as if though you are kind of mining. That's money that I already had allocated for it. So those four to five hundred bucks that I was using, you know, to pay for the electricity, I'm stacking my ERG, I'm stacking my Flux, I'm stacking different uh, coins that I'm interested in. Um, I also have a little fund set up that I'm setting aside for hardware. Um, still, to me, my opinion, it's still not cheap enough, right? Ideally, it'd be looking like one big one I'd be looking for is like Octo Miners, but they still are not really dropping enough, right? They just had a MOQ sale not too long ago where you could actually just order one, where it was like 950 for these X8 Ultras. So you can see here, they've been selling in this price range between 750 800 which again, a $200 discount for a used one, no warranty, not really cheap enough for me. I still think that they're going to go down significantly because again, this bear market, we're still got a good like year and a half of it. So as we go through time, people are going to capitulate more, prices will go down. Um, same with other mining hardware. The only things I have been finding good prices on are like some PDUs, been picking up some of those. Um, I've been lowballing people, some people have been accepting. Same with some mining motherboards, I've been getting, getting some of those. Um, but again, I have specific price points that I want to hit. And until I hit those, I'm not going to be binding things, especially the GPUs. To me, they're still going to be dropping more. So I'm waiting on that, especially right now after the holidays. Right now, Black Friday's coming up, um, Christmas is coming up. So people who are just sitting, on those GPUs, just staring at the money that they could possibly have, they're gonna be selling. You're gonna you're gonna see it see an uptick in sales. Hopefully, those prices go down more though. But um, I think later on, I'll probably post up a video with my different price points, what I'm looking at, what I'm looking at getting, and what I'm looking at paying or what I have paid. Um, but again, to me, it's still not there. There's still gonna be more capitulation. Um, so yeah, that's my mining strategy. I'm going to stay in it. I believe in it long term. Yes, it's dead right now. But again, it's for now. I think eventually, again, none of this is financial advice. Don't take it that way. Not telling you what to do. Just letting you know what I'm doing. I think eventually we will get back up there, especially with these new technologies coming up, these ZK proof platforms, the different tokens, the different coins, the different projects that are happening right now or the ones that are going to be coming. Again, there's still a new space. There's always stuff coming up. Um, Flux is going to have their, you know, their useful work coming up. So they have a lot of things in the pipeline as well. Um, so overall, very bullish on GPU mining still. It's going to happen. Might be a while, but again, this is the time to accumulate. We all watch those videos during the bull market of people, you know, stocking up in the last bear market, this and that. This is that time, right? So, you know, take that. Take it for what it is. Take advantage. Set up your plan. Set up what you're thinking of doing. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you found some value in this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Check out some of my other videos. I'm slowly putting up more content. And again, hopefully you found some value here. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and I'm out.